In this SharePoint Basics video clip, I want to look at uh, the document info panel or information panel and um, of course a quick edit as well. And this is all about metadata. If I want to update any of these uh, documents properties, I can select the document and um, I'm just going to close this uh, filter on the right. And you'll see that there's a little details pane little icon. If I click on that, it opens a details pane for that specific document that tells you who has access to it. It gives you a preview of the document, which is pretty awesome. And um, it also then gives you the properties for that document. So this is where I can then select other properties and you will see it will save it as I'm busy um, updating it. Now, this is a very important message that you see there. Because I've got check in, check out um, enabled on this library, I actually cannot just um, update metadata like that. I have to check out the document first. So uh, to check out a document, of course, is easy. I would um, just go to more. And you'll see check out there. So check out enables me to make changes to the document. So now if I go to the little details pane on the right hand side, I'll be able to uh, update properties on this document. So let's just have a look and um, I'll just choose any uh, properties. And there you can see I was able to do that. You can see that little green arrow shows when it's checked out. I'm just going to go and check it back in. When I check a document back in, it's going to ask me for uh, the changes that I've made to it. So I can just say that uh, updated metadata. So I'll just publish this to a major version and um, then we can just say yes. To, uh, to bulk edit this, um, if check in, check out is enabled on the library, you will first have to take um, off the check out and check in. So I'm just going to go to the settings of that library and um, under versioning settings, you'll see um, it says here required documents to be checked out. I'm going to just make that to no, which means I can then update this in bulk mode. So um, without selecting any of these, so you'll see that nothing is selected at the moment. Um, you'll see that I've got quick edit there. Quick edit's gonna open it up in like an Excel mode. Now, please remember that the view that you're on is going to only show the columns for quick edit. So I normally create a view that shows all the columns for quick edit, which just makes it a lot easier. This means uh, I can then um, copy and paste. It also depends on which browser you're in. So sometimes it doesn't allow me to copy and paste. So just be careful um, on that. And of course, I can copy and paste across like this as well to, uh, to specific areas and update the metadata. So there you can see it says edit uh, or exit quick edit and that then updates it. That's to um, use quick edit to bulk update um, any of the properties. Also important to remember that the new modern libraries allows us to drag documents into other groupings to update the metadata. So if I had to select this document, and I had to drag it to that um, department governance, it'll update the properties according to what's under the department governance. So it's busy updating the item. So that uh, is quite nice as well that you can drag um, items into other groupings to update the metadata. So something that's important as well is that on your library settings, if I go to advanced, you'll see that there is an item there where um, you can actually say um, let's just see where it is. There we go. Uh, quick property editing. Allow items in this document library to be edited using quick edit and details pane. So this is quite important because if all the properties have been filled in already, so let's say policies and procedures library, I normally switch off the quick edit, which means it's not available for users to use um, in quick edit mode. I would rather switch that on when I need to update bulk data because they could easily make a mistake and drag properties across to other um, documents. So this is where you can um, select whether it must allow quick edit or not as well. And this is under your advanced settings. And then under version settings is where you'll actually, um, as mentioned, switch off the check in, check out if that is switched on, because otherwise you can't use the quick edit. It's going to just um, ask you to check out the documents first. So uh, there's just a very, very quick one for you about the quick edit and about updating data and about dragging items into other views. And then also, as mentioned, if I select a document, I can click on this little um, details pane on the right hand side where I'll see a preview of the document. And um, this is also where I can update the document properties or change the document properties to, uh, to something else. So quite easy to update those um, and um, we'll chat soon.